Hey, it's good to see you today. I'm Lydia Lee from Screw the Cubicle. And as a work reinvention coach, one of the biggest pieces I move forward for my clients is to help them to create the quickest path to start building their exit plan. And there isn't just one pathway to take your leap to entrepreneurship. But either way, the most important puzzle piece to get clear on is having an idea that you can actually monetize, which is exactly what I help with inside my idea to income course. So one of the biggest things that we talk about in the course is how to use a side hustle to transition into full-time entrepreneurship. So for people who have never been a business owner before, I know and I feel you <laughs> when you know that you are feeling feelings of fear, right? That if you have, whether you have what it takes to become an entrepreneur. And a lot of times, none of us really want to just jump off a cliff and hope the parachute opens, right? We're calculated risk humans. I'm that person too. And I too would like safer pastors <laughs> to make changes in, in our lives, right? So we want to be able to create a safe transition so that you can ease your way into feeling confident into being an entrepreneur. And this is why I'm such an advocate for starting with a smaller project, starting with a side hustle to test out your skills and really explore how you wanna use your skills, use your experience and your gifts to really impact other people and to kind of try different ideas on for size when you have a short list of ideas to try. And it gives you a nice little experimentation playground before you go all in into spending money energy and time into building a full-time gig, right? So a side hustle really gives you this um, in-between stage, right? Between ideation and launching, where it gives you a sense of an internship experience, right? Remember internships? We used to do a lot of that when we were, were in college or university, and it was very normal as well back then uh, to take, take a trial, right, of where we want to be in the industries that we've graduated or the degrees we've graduated from in the industries that we want to work in. Having a business can be set up that way as well. And a lot of people skip this step. And I think it's such a mistake because when my own students and clients have used the beta test approach, right, to create a self-made internship, they discover so much about the work they want to do, about how they do that work and really create nice systems and structure and a process that they can actually sell as a service or a product. And you're going to get amazing testimonials before you even launch, right? The key is to work with some humans, test out what it is that you want to give away, what it is that you want to help with, with some real case studies before you start to go all in into right? Launching your business. And it's just going to make you feel more confident before you launch. And that is one of the safest and simplest um, exit plans to go about becoming a confident business owner. Now, another step I teach is exploring the world of consultancy and freelancing. So for some people, they may not want sort of a full-blown business to have products and services that they run all year round. And they might want to trial um, a version of their work through a consultancy gig where they can have multiple clients and have uh, more tailored or bespoke services for particular clients that they want to work with and start off as a, as a consultant or a freelancer. So this is actually the way that I started when I launched my first business when I left corporate was actually negotiating uh, my current role, my full-time gig with my old bosses, and actually negotiating a consultancy gig to allow me to still keep working with them, still produce results for their company, but in a different format, in a different way of working where I can still have my freedom, I can still work independently, but still be able to give um, really great results for my old boss, right, in a very different role that I'll be playing. And so for some people, this may be an avenue. And actually, a lot of my clients that have been interested in taking this avenue, and we've, I've guided them through how to do that, um, it has been quite successful as being the transitional role to have more time, have more autonomy and flexibility with that job while be able to work on the side gig or the side hustle while you're being a consultant. So there's kind of not one way, right? Like as you can see, you can have a hybrid version of a, a, an exit plan pathway, but we wanna figure out what is the right thing for you, 
right? So all of us come with different assets. All of us come with different um, opportunities, right, in our life, whatever sort of network you have uh, or the sort of, um, you know, ideas that you already come with at the moment might land better as a side hustle or as a consultancy model to start, right? In the Idea to Income course, we're going to help you to discover which is the best way and approach for you to actually start monetizing the skills and work you want to do, right? This is going to support you um, in really having a business that you love waking up for, right? Every morning for anyway, uh, because not only are we going to explore what is your quickest pathway to becoming self-employed, right? We're also going to be exploring what is the true work that you really want to give and monetize and profit from that's going to feel purposeful for you. So in the Idea to Income course, we're going to match your best skills with active problems people want solving. So whether or not you launch a side hustle or a consultancy gig, right, to start with your transition, we want to ensure that you're going to get paid for the very skills that you want to bring forth into your new career. So if you're interested to join me on my six week idea to income program, that's going to get you going from having fuzzy, too many ideas or no ideas at all sort of problem to being really clear about what your business plan looks like, knowing what you're going to offer, knowing who you're going to work with and how to attract these clients to your doorstep. Um, go to screwthecubicle.com forward slash idea dash two dash income or click on the link on this video to get right there and learn more about what you're going to learn um, so that you can join me on the next intake coming up. And I can't wait to guide you to launch that meaningful business of your dreams.